because he's worthy. We will glorify his name because he's so worthy to be praised. Glory to God. On behalf of my husband, Pastor Brian, and myself, my name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome you in Jesus' name. If no one has told you that you're loved, you're loved by Anita and the man, Pastor Brian and Anita Hewitt. We love you with the love of the Lord. Our ministry is MTN Ministry, Bible Way LA, where we're located in Los Angeles, California. We invite you to come to our website at www.brianhewitt.com. And if you want to seed into this fertile ministry, for truly we're going to the four winds of the earth, wherever the Lord is sending us, we are going. So if you want to seed into this ministry, please click on the donation button. And if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry. You will truly be blessed, for truly we're going wherever the Lord is sending us. We're planning to go to the UK in July and in November we're going to Af uh, India and we're still praying on the date to go to Africa and God is really moving by his power so this ministry is truly a ministry that's on the move so if you want to be a part of it or if you want a partnership with us please click on the donation button glory to God let's go before the throne most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for every blessing that you've given us today. Father God, whatever time zone we're in, if it's our morning, afternoon, or night, Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for every blessing that you've given us. Father God, we thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. You're the God that provides. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for being Jehovah Rapha. You're the God that heals, Lord. We send healing to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, Lord, in the the name of Jesus and father God will be careful to give you all the praise all the glory for there is none like you now father God let evangelists Anita decrease and let you increase in me use me to your glory father God we thank you Lord Jesus that not one word shall fall upon deaf ears but it shall accomplish that it was said to do father God we thank you Lord Jesus for souls to be one we thank God Lord Jesus that our faith has risen just a little bit higher today and Lord Jesus we're gonna stand on your word just a little bit longer Lord Jesus we're stronger today because of your word. And Lord Jesus, you said your word is marrow to our bones. And that's why we're standing strong today. And Father God, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints of the most high God. Hallelujah. I would love for you to get your Bibles and get your pen and a piece of paper. We have some scriptures that the Lord has placed on my heart. Glory to God. So our first scripture is coming from our first scripture is coming from Mark 4 38 through 41 Mark 4 38 through 41 and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said unto him master canst thou not care that th that we perish and he arose and he rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are you so fearful how is it that ye have no faith and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him may the lord have a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of god's holy word we need to speak peace be still in all of our situations today so today the word of god is peace be still saints of the most high God hallelujah my goodness you got to understand these were the disciples that were around Jesus but yet they still didn't know that the peacemaker was on the ship glory to God I want you to know that the peacemaker is within you hallelujah is in your temple glory to God don't you know your temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost so therefore the Bible says that his spirit that dwells in us, the greater one that lives within us. Hallelujah. We have the greater one that lives within us. 
So because of that, hallelujah, we have the peacemaker within ourselves. So whenever confusion, whenever the enemy want to raise his raise his head and want to bring confusion and storms in your life. Hallelujah. You got to speak with faith and power, the power of the Holy Ghost, because God says greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And because we have the greater one that lives within us, we can say peace be still to every situation of our lives. Hallelujah. We can live in peace. We can lay down in peace. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that it could be a storm going around? Hallelujah. But you just have to speak peace be still. My God. Hallelujah. They had just got to ministering to a multitude of people. So therefore they said, well, let's go over on the other side. Now, the disciples and Jesus. Now, here comes this wind. And the wind was filling up the boat. And Jesus was downstairs asleep resting, laying on a pillow, just relaxing, sleeping. And then they come down and say, God, do you care if we perish? What? So Jesus woke up and said, I rebuke you, wind, see. Oh. Then it was a great calm. But yet still, the people that were with him, glory to God, the disciples that were around him still did not know who Jesus really is. Do you really know who Jesus is to your do you really know that who Jesus is in your life? We could say God is good all the time. God all the time. God is good. Yes, he is. But who is he to you? Is he your peacemaker? Is he the one that wraps you? Hallelujah. In his arms and wipes away every tear. Is he the one that Lord Jesus, I could call on you 24 and seven. God, I know that you will hear me. Hallelujah. Is that the relationship you have with the Father? Because, glory to God, we must have a personal relationship with God. I cannot have my mama's relationship that she had with Jesus for myself. I cannot have my dad's, my grandfather, my cousins and aunties that are ministers of the Lord. I cannot do it. It's a personal thing. Hallelujah. So we must have a personal relationship with our father. Glory to God. So therefore, even though that the disciples really didn't realize that he was a God of peace. He's a man of peace. The peacemaker was already on the ship. Hallelujah. And when we let the Lord guide our ship, hallelujah, hallelujah. And when we acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways, he shall direct our path. Hallelujah. And because of that, glory to God, we will have peace. So today, saints of the most high God, I'm saying peace be still. In every situation, peace be still, mind, body, and soul, in the name of Jesus. I decree it for it to be so. Glory to God, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of confusion. Hallelujah, because God is not the author of confusion. God is a God of peace. Glory to God. And because he's a God of peace, hallelujah, we can speak peace be still. Hallelujah, and peace be still in every area of our lives. Hallelujah, if it be our family, if it be our friends, our job, our co-workers, hallelujah, glory to God in our finances, glory to God, peace in our mind, hallelujah. The Bible says whose mind is stayed on thee, that he will keep in what? perfect peace glory to god sometimes we have to gird up the loins of our mind hallelujah we have to think on these things which are pure and lovely of good report hallelujah and for that we say in peace be still glory to god we must have peace hallelujah isn't it amazing when you don't have peace you can't sleep there's a there's a restlessness in your spirit why because god is a god of peace and when there's not peace hallelujah you can't rest you can't settle you can't there's something going on hallelujah i'm just not myself until i get that peace hallelujah because the greater one that's in you hallelujah glory to god hallelujah don't you know 
Oh, hallelujah. God loves you. God is a God of peace. Let the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah is your mind on Jesus today. Glory to God. Am I thinking on these things? Hallelujah. Things that are lovely. Things are good. Of a good report. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. If there's no peace, a double dog dare you to open up your Bible. Hallelujah. And start going through the glossary. Whatever you need is found in the word of God. Hallelujah. Because God says, lo, I come in a volume of a book. Too many times. Hallelujah. I want to grab someone else's peace. But glory to God. God has specialized in miracles just for you. Hallelujah. The miracle of peace. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing? It's not by happenstance that you tuned into the Hewitt channel for you to hear. Glory to God. Peace be still. Hallelujah. Because we live in a world that's not peaceful. Hallelujah. And if we're not careful, we will pick up all the anxiety of the world. And we don't need that. Hallelujah. Because God is a God of peace. Hallelujah. You're going to rest today in peace. Hallelujah. You're going to move in your house in peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we have to open up the door and rebuke Satan out of my house. In the name of Jesus and send him back to the pits of hell where he belongs. We come against the spirit of confusion. We come against, hallelujah, the spirit, hallelujah, that just doesn't want to line up to the word of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. We are going to line our lives up to the word of God. God says, I'll give you the desires of your heart. If you desire Christ, glory to God, God will come in and he will work. He will continue on working a good work that he's started in you he will continue glory to god but we must have to want the lord to come into our lives god i need some peace today glory to god because i haven't been sleeping glory to god but god today i hear the word and i'm gonna trust in you hallelujah the bible says trust in the lord with all thine heart lead not to thine own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall shall direct my path. Father God, I thank you that we're trusting in you today. Father God, we're lifting up the name of Jesus. Father God, I need you to give me peace today. Hallelujah. Because my children are acting crazy. Because my spouse don't want to. Glory to God, there's a spirit of confusion. But I bind that in the name of Jesus. I speak obedience to your children in the name of Jesus. I speak peace, Father God, from the front door to the back, from room to room, from the ceiling to the floor, in the matchless name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that our mind is on you. Hallelujah, because you are the peacemaker. Glory to God, hallelujah. I will walk in peace today. Hallelujah, I will not fret or have anxiety about anything, God, because God, I know that thou art with me. Glory to God, God said I'll never leave you nor forsake you, saints of the Most High God. So today we must say, peace be still. Hallelujah. I can't look at the circumstances. I'm not denying the fact. The fact is this. But God is greater, hallelujah, than any situation. Because the Bible says, I look not on to the things which are seen. For the things which are seen are subject to change. But the things I cannot see, that they're everlasting, and they are eternal eternal Lord. Hallelujah and glory to God. I'm trusting you in this. God, you brought me out of this. I know you're going to bring me out of that. God, you kept me in the midst of the storm. And God, I know you're going to keep me in the storm that I may be in right now. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that I just got out of the storm? Hallelujah. But it seems like I'm right in another one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Much is given. Much is required. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God will see you through. Let me give you a nugget. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All all storms do come to pass. Glory 
word of God, no storm lasts always. Hallelujah. But it's how you endure the storm. Hallelujah. If you if you just complain it, oh, woe is me. Why is this? God, I've done everything and God, I'm still in the storm and God and God and God. Besides of saying, God, I trust you. Glory to God. I know you're going to bring me out. Father God, in the meantime, I'm going to praise you. You can praise your way out of every situation. Hallelujah. That the enemy want to bring. You can praise your way and set your soul free. Hallelujah. You can praise your way and have peace. Hallelujah. So today, glory to God. The word of God is peace be still. Saints of the most high God, I speak peace in the name of Jesus. But if you don't know the peacemaker, hallelujah, then you're not in peace. If you don't know the, the Lord as your personal savior, hallelujah, we must be rapture ready. I know you heard me say it, but I'm going to say it again. Hallelujah, Jesus is coming back sooner than you think. Hallelujah, no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming. But hallelujah, if Jesus cracks the clouds today, will you say heaven is my home? Can you honestly rest and go to sleep and say, God, I'm ready whenever you come? Hallelujah, and if you cannot say that, turn with me to Romans 10. We're going to start at verse 9 through 13. Romans 10, 9 through 13. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God is raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord is over all that's rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Aren't you glad you tuned into the Hewitt Channel to hear the word of God? Peace be still. Hallelujah. Because life circumstances has a tendency of us not to have peace. But God wants you to have peace be still. He wants the word today is peace be still. God wants you to have peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Glory to God. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and fill me and take control. Help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. We're praising God for you. Welcome to the body of Christ. Glory to God. You've taken the most important step. Now you have to ask God to lead and guide you to a Bible teaching church where God wants you to grow and be strengthened and also get active in the midweek Bible study for where there's unity, there is strength and also get into the fellowship because we need to strengthen one another. Each one reach one, each one teach one. Hallelujah. And we bless God. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. And if you gave your life to the Lord, please visit our website and let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you want to, uh, and if you need a Bible, please let us know that too. And we will make sure that you get a Bible. If you want to see it into this ministry, click on the donation button. And if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm praising God for you. Let's go back into the word. Hallelujah. Peace be still. Glory to God. So if we need Jesus, hallelujah, to speak peace be still in all of our lives. Hallelujah. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because of that, hallelujah, we are strong in Christ Jesus. Isn't it amazing that when Jesus had rebuked the wind and the sea, and it was calm, hallelujah, glory to God, that these that hallelujah that they were amazed my god lord jesus and they feared exceedingly they were just oh my god who is this person that what manner of man 
is he that even the winds and the sea obey him meaning that have you not been with me so long jesus had to ask the disciples one th one time having you not been with me so long you don't know who i am my god hallelujah the bible says some things only come through fasting and praying hallelujah saints of the most high god there comes a time hallelujah we have to starve this flesh and feed our spirit man and how we do that that is, we push our way from the table, hallelujah, and dedicate some time with the Lord. If it's praying, singing, reading the word of God, hallelujah, you may not be able to do a 40-day fast. But hallelujah, there are so many different ways of fasting. Hallelujah, the Lord has put it on my heart. We're going to start talking about how to fast because so many times we think we know and then we don't hallelujah so we're going to dive into that but glory to god hallelujah you're going to always wrestle with this flesh hallelujah the flesh and the spirit man there's a war going on your spirit man says you need to pray your flesh is saying i'm sleepy your spirit man is saying i don't want to eat i gotta eat the word of god and your flesh is saying i'm hungry if you don't feed me i'm going to faint baby saints of the most high god hallelujah i can only speak for myself i got enough food on me i could go 40 days and still won't won't be won't die of starvation saints of the most high god so therefore we need to work on hallelujah strengthening our spirit man hallelujah because as we strengthen our spirit man and how we do that is only through the word of god when we dive into the word when we dig deep into the word and read it and 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 and, and apply it to our lives too many times hallelujah some people read the book read the bible like a novel hallelujah god's word is applicable meaning that it will work if you work it saints of the most high god is a whosoever thing it's a whosoever will will line their lives up to the word of god then god will honor your desire god is a gentleman god is not going to make you walk in peace god is not going to make you serve him hallelujah because he made man a little lower than the angels he created angels solely to praise him that's why that jesus did not have a redemption plan hallelujah so when those angels started worshiping satan lucifer hallelujah and he kicked them out one third of the angels went down with lucifer and they became little imps but i'm going to tell you this hallelujah when he made man hallelujah he had a redemption plan already in already in the making hallelujah glory to god aren't you glad we are redeemed by the precious blood of jesus and because we're redeemed hallelujah we can walk in peace hallelujah we can lay in peace hallelujah if there's a storm of life going on hallelujah we know glory to god hallelujah that there is peace as long as my mind is stayed on jesus saints of the most high god i want you to be stay connected to the father hallelujah no matter if you feel like you're hanging on a thread hallelujah as long as it's connected to the father you're going to be all right hallelujah glory to god and glory to god i'm looking on to you which is the author and finisher of my faith, God. Hallelujah. And because of that, I'm looking on to you, and I can truly say, peace be still. Glory to God. Peace be still in every area of my life. Peace be still in my children. Peace be still in my family. Peace be still in my husband or my wife. Peace be still. Glory to God in all areas of my life. Peace be still on my finances. Peace be still on my job in the name of jesus because the bible says that there is no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper hallelujah glory to god don't you know god will fight your battles hallelujah when you know how to do all that you know how to do the bible says stand and see the salvation of the lord glory to god so it's time for us to stand hallelujah it's time for us to stand for christ jesus too many times we're standing for a lot of other things 
nothing, but we're not standing for Jesus. Glory to God and hallelujah as we walk in peace. Hallelujah. Once again, we're going to start talking about the flesh. We must kill this flesh and feed our spirit, man. Isn't it amazing, saints of the Most High God? You can watch a three-hour movie and won't get sleepy. But soon as you open up the Word of God, your face is kissing the pages. My God, glory to God, so it lets you know who is stronger. Hallelujah. So we must push away the plate. Hallelujah. And during that time, hallelujah, if it's five minutes or if it's two hours, hallelujah, what you do is during those two hours, you dive in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you start eating the word and you start meditating on God's word. Hallelujah. Because God's word is marrow to my bones. Hallelujah. God said, hallelujah. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. Hallelujah. But first of all, we must get the word in us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And as we start reading the word, hallelujah, it starts coming into our spirit. So therefore, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So as we read the word, word is going to come out. Hallelujah. As we speak peace, hallelujah, I double dog dare you to go in the back of your Bible or in the front of your Bible and look up scriptures on peace. And you start walking in peace. Hallelujah. You start speaking those things as if they are and watch God's word work. Glory to God hallelujah and we praise God so saints of the most high God I'm here to tell you glory to God peace be still in every area of your life I decree it for it to be so in the matchless name of Jesus let's pray out most gracious father we come before you right now Lord in the matchless name of Jesus father God we thank you for the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep our heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Father God, you said, whose mind is stayed on thee, that you will keep in perfect peace. Father God, I decree that we're in perfect peace today. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that our mind is stayed on you. Father God, forgive us if our mind was not on you, our mind was on people, places, or things, but today, but right now. Hallelujah, glory to God. Today is a new day. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. And for that, we thank you and we praise you. Father God, we just love you and we glorify you. And Lord, we thank you for this awesome word of God. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, we thank you for you keeping us until we meet again in Jesus' name. Saints of the Most High God, once again, if no one has told you that your love, Anita and the man loved you, Pastor Brian and Anita Hewitt, we love you with the love of the Lord. May God bless you richly. Tune back in at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My husband, Pastor Brian, will be preaching and teaching from the book of Revelations. Get ready to be blessed. So until we meet again, God loves you and we love you too. Amen.